Hi, my name is Steve Borman, and today I want to talk to you today about the gospel message. And what is the gospel message? The gospel starts right back in Genesis, when Adam and Eve fell and sin entered the world. And then sin became part of man's way. We naturally became sinners. Sin entered our lives, and we went down the road of not walking in the right relationship with God. Because God is a holy God. God is a pure God. God needs holiness. And when sin entered us, we were no longer holy in his eyes. And the Bible says that the only way to redeem our sins and bring atonement for our sins is through blood. Now, before Jesus, they used to use, they used to sacrifice lambs. They used to do all sorts of burnt offerings. I'm not a Bible scholar, but that's sort of the gist of what used to be done. But then God, the Father, sent his only son so that he could die on a cross so that our sins could be forgiven. He gave it his son as a free gift so that we could have a relationship with Father, so that we could enter into Father's presence and that we could <laughs> live for eternity with him. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son and whosoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I love that part in the Bible where it says whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter where you're from, what your background is, what nationality you are, what race you are, what, what your education standing is, where, where you live in the world, wherever you are in life, God will accept you unconditionally. God is a God of love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. God is always wanting to pour his love out to people. And he's always wanting to show his love in many different ways. And he desires to have a relationship with every single person. He pursues us furiously. He pursues every single lost sheep. The Bible talks about God leaving the 99 to find the one. He'll leave the entire flock of sheep just to find one lost sheep. That's how much he cares to see people come into relationship with him. It was the power of the cross. It's the power of the blood of Jesus that set us free from sin. And sin has been totally forgiven, all because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. And I am so grateful for the cross. I am so thankful for Jesus that he paid the price so that I could live in peace with Father. I can live in peace with the Holy Spirit. I am so grateful that I have a eternity in heaven because I've accepted Jesus. And today I would love to encourage you, if you've never accepted Jesus, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, it's really simple. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that he died on the cross, that you are saved. And it's not about saying a prayer. It's not about um, a magical repentance prayer that the church has sort of brought into play over the years and years. I mean, I'm not dissing that prayer, but it's not the vocal point of salvation. The, the vocal point of salvation is a heart change. It's a repentance. It's a shift of heart saying, yes, God, I am going to live for you. And I think once your heart shifts, your mouth will follow. I always love that part about salvation is a journey. You know, repentance sometimes is a journey as well. And so I just think it's so important that we just focus on the heart shift. And then after the heart shift comes the confession. The gospel message is a message of peace. It's a message of hope as a message of love. And I just want to encourage you that God is love and he loves you so much today. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Have an amazing day.